Hi, welcome to Coffee Break with Researchers. Today, we are at the Geography of Innovation Conference in Stavanger, in Norway, and I'm having a coffee break with Marcus Grilich. He's an associate professor and director of CIRCLE at Lund University, and he's also the founder of uh, Coffee Break with Researchers. Coffee Break with Researchers presents you with cutting-edge insights on regional development and innovation. We ask researchers directly and in a personal manner about their work. We make scientific knowledge accessible to all. Thank you, Marcus, again for having this uh, chat with me about one of your papers. How are you doing? Hello, Lorena. It's a pleasure to be here again. I want to talk with you about the paper you wrote in which you analyze the role of change agency in uh, regional development. Could you please tell me what the paper was about? Yes, it is about the actions, about uh, how actors like firms, local government, universities and others, civil society actors, how they shape the future of uh, the region they are in. Sounds very interesting. And uh, I see that the key notion of the paper is a change agency. Uh, could you please explain it? Yes, agency is about actions. So actions of individuals, groups of individuals and organizations and the consequences of these actions, both intended and unintended. And change agency is then are then actions that are directed towards making a change to the regional structures. I see. Thank you for that. And uh, based on these notions, uh, which ones would you say are the key findings of your paper? Yes, there are three, I would say. So we did an in-depth literature review and found three types of agency, change agency, that uh, matter, that help uh, actors uh, to shape the region. So the first one is innovative entrepreneurship. And this is about uh, creating new products, new services, new processes, new organizations. And this is something that uh, humankind has been doing from ancient times, from the um, idea of the wheel to the semiconductors to the combustion engine. This is something that we humans have been doing. Then the second thing is institutional entrepreneurship. And that's about uh, changing the rules of the game. So formal institutions, informal institutions, and uh, this is also something that humankind has been doing from ancient Romans to the global world we live in nowadays. And the third type of change agency that we identified in literature is uh, place-based leadership. And this is a form of, um, you could say, collective um, action. So actions that are directed to coordinate activities in the region to create, for instance, common resources like educational institutes or infrastructure or resources that benefit others uh, in the region. And we found that these are three types of agency that uh, have an effect on the economy, on institutions and places. And um, very interesting, Dean, thank you. And what about your personal motivation in writing this paper? Yes, it was a bit of a frustration because uh, much of the literature, but also the policy debate is about the structures that almost determine, uh, let's say, um, uh, the outcome. So you could say that uh, non-core regions, regions outside the agglomerations, they have uh, bad structural preconditions and therefore they fall behind. And there was little room for agency. So to what extent uh, and how actors can maybe overcome structural barriers. And so with this uh, paper, we wanted to shed light on this uh, black spot in uh, economic geography. That's great. And uh, what about policy implications? What would you suggest uh, to policymakers based on your, or in your, on your research? Yes, uh, this research would suggest that uh, not only structures matter, but also agency. So also the actions of uh, policymakers, firms, universities, civil society actors. And then it's about empowering these the different actors to uh, make a change in the region. So I think to put an emphasis on facilitating this change process and uh, supporting the, the change agents uh, would be one uh, important policy implication. Thank you very much. And uh, it's been again a pleasure for me to have you here in a coffee break. I wish you all the best for your future research and hope to see you again soon. That would be very nice. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more details about this academic publication, 
you can find here the link below. Find us on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube, or listen to our podcast on Spotify. See you next time. Bye-bye.